Hi, I'm Derek Melber, Technical Evangelist for the AD Solutions team here at Manage Engine. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about trust relationships. Within Active Directory, we have these relationships between domains called trusts. Now, the idea of a trust is that one domain is going to trust the users in another domain. This is really common when we have like a merger or an acquisition. Let's say that we have company A that buys company B. Well, company A needs to provide access to the company B users for the data that they have. Now, if the organizations are quite large, it's pretty difficult to take all the users in company B and add them to the company A domain. So instead of that, what we do is we create a trust relationship. Company A trusts company B. In reality, what's happening is company A admins are trusting company B users to access the data in company A. Now, once a trust is created, it doesn't give automatic access to everything. We still have to go down to the access control list, the ACL on files and folders and other things that we have data stored in. So even though that we have a trust relationship set up between company A and company B, the owner of the resource in company A still has to add the user from company B, or really the group from company B, to have access to that resource. Now, within Active Directory, we really have two primary types of trust. There are more than two, but there are two primary trusts. One is an internal trust, and one is an external trust. The internal trusts are between domains in the same forest. So as we add domains to the Active Directory environment, typically we add them to the same forest. We can have domains in the same tree that have contiguous namespace, and we can also add multiple trees in the same forest. These multiple trees are gonna have different domain namespaces. So we might have acme.com and we might have microsoft.com in the same forest. Now, these trust relationships are things that are built once we add in additional domain controllers to create these new domains. In my opinion, these domains and these structural components are things that we need to pay attention to, but not nearly as much as the trust relationships that are outside of our forest. Now, typically we have trust relationships outside of our forest for legacy domains, Windows NT 4.0 domains. Now, it doesn't have to be an NT 4.0 domain. It could be an Active Directory domain. It could be a Kerberos Realm. It really just depends. Now, the reason that these external trusts are important is because they typically are there to do some type of a migration and then they hang around. So we need to get rid of them. We just need to understand why the trust is there and if we still need that trust relationship. So this gives you a little bit of information on why we have trust and the primary trusts that we have. Again, a trust relationship is so that one domain can trust another domain of users without adding those users to its domain list. Internal trusts are within the same forest of Active Directory and external trusts go outside of that forest and can be to a Windows NT domain, an Active Directory domain, or a Kerberos realm. This has been Derek Melber. Thanks for watching.